10, 10 points, so I get a 70. Oh, man. I did that one time and I failed. Okay. What? You fail. That doesn't make sense. You did what? You want to talk to the teacher and you failed to? Never go beg to the teacher. Oh, that's all weird. I, 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 I fought with fun teachers, but man, I got three lower grades. Well, you should just get an A to begin with. Yeah, big A. Aren't you up you no at the game, Martin? Right? Was. 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 Oh, yeah, they kicked you out? No. You dropped out. Not yet. I'm registered for the art. I'm getting an application. You are. Oh, my God! There's a walk up my ass! <laughs> Dr. Robert Gomez, how many times have you been at the table with some friends or loved ones and someone has complained of having a walk up their ass? What should you do? Should you A, touch the walk, or B, probe the area with a stick, or should you C, perform the hymen maneuver, or D, duck and cover? If you chose C, perform the hymen maneuver, you have made a correct choice and you may be beneficial in saving a friend's life. To demonstrate the hymen maneuver, here's Dr. Glenn Abbott. Gentlemen, may I introduce you, Dr. Glenn Abbott. Welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to perform the Hyman Maneuver. For years, the Hyman Maneuver was only to be performed by medical professionals. But now you at home can learn the Hyman Maneuver in case of an emergency involving a loved one or friend having a walk up his rectum. Bring in the patient, please. This is our patient. He has a large walk up his rectum, as you can tell from the pain on his face. Stand up, son, please. It will be hard to get the subject to his feet, but try your hardest. Make sure his rectum is pointing towards the west. And uh, Please, son, please. Now, men, have him bend over and lift his right leg. The right leg, it's very important that you remember this. Six to eight inches above the ground. Make sure it looks like a dog urinating on a fire hydrant. Now, the patient should not hold his stomach or abdomen, but should actually, it's okay if he grabs your leg, he should face his hands towards uh, China and then balk six times like a dog. Go ahead, son. <coughs> Wrapping your arm around his lower abdomen, squeeze, squeeze. <coughs> The walk is out of his rectum, but we must be especially careful at this point that the lid of the walk isn't still stuck somewhere in the lower intestines. So what we must do is slam the top of his head and squeeze the lower abdomen. Ah, here it, there it is. It's all better. And so there you have it, the hymen maneuver. This young man was fortunate enough that we caught it in time. That's all, son. Thank you, Doc. Don't sit down for a week. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> there it is in a nutshell. Now, what's very important is not to touch the walk unless wearing specially insulated, fabricated uh, walk gloves made for touching such instruments as things placed up the rectum because the inside intestinal tracts can get to the temperatures between 400, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you are going to touch the walk after the Hyman maneuver has been performed, please use special gloves. I can, I can feel the heat. I can feel the heat from the... Oh, goodness. I can smell the odor. You must remove this in almost a radioactive material dump site. And now back to Dr. Robert Gomez. I just learned an important life-saving technique. For more information, write the Hyman Maneuver, P.O. Box 23, Washington, USA. Thank you very much.